Hello, I'm Malcolm Middleton. I'm here today to address your forum and talk about some of the important things for the city of Toowoomba. The really interesting aspect of the city that I think has perhaps been underdone a lot is that the basics of the city are very strong, whether it's based on heritage, green space, deep planting, um, fine old buildings, plenty of room, and backup resources in terms of education, universities, hospitals, and other fundamental offerings, this city is really well placed. So when it comes to the priority issues here in the city, and when we're trying to find ways to lift the density and do it in a way that exploits your assets but doesn't scare the horses, you really find that you've got plenty of room around the CBD, but very few people living in it. One of the reasons we understand is that there isn't a, an excellent public transport system here yet, but it's a bit of a chicken and egg. There are new technologies now that will enable people to really find ways to live as pedestrians or with alternate means of, of mobility, particularly electric bikes and many other supplementary forms of transport now that were not available in the past. There are a number of really important issues that I think I would like to summarise about what you need to do to make sure you get the best outcomes. The first one is to understand that good design is often considered expensive, but in reality, if you look at the life cycle cost of any building, is not the case. It's really important to provide a good external environment, and these, this is the sort of amenity that people in Toowoomba are used to, and yet, it's the kind of thing that gets designed out uh, as value management takes over on many projects. It's the ground amenity, it's the deep planting, it's the shade, it's the outlook. These things are often taken away when in fact they're essential to get the standard that you need. We too often design projects around the car and really the car should be fitting around the way you want to live. This means that if you decouple the car, find other places for the car, perhaps don't provide as many cars, be clever about how you incorporate car parking provision, you can produce much greater amenity on almost any site. In terms of an essential ingredient, the attitude I think it's important to give to new development is to be a good neighbour and to create a good neighbourhood. It's also very important in my view to make homes accessible. There are many generations of people who now live in houses. We all live in houses at different stages of our life. And at some stage in our life, whether it's with young children, after an accident, or with older people in the house, or with a disability, there is a need for accessibility. In my view, every house should be accessible. It is therefore ready for any generational occupation. 